We get guests sometimes who make two separate bookings before they arrive or maybe they arrived and paid and then they thought they could add nights by just making a separate one online. So one fun fact about Cloudbeds is you cannot actually link their reservations. It's not possible. Um, our old system used to be able to link them so you could kind of use the deposit on one in order to kind of partially pay off their um, second one, which also comes with its own deposit. Uh, but this does not let us do that. It doesn't connect them or anything like that. So um, I'm going to show you how at um, our place of work, we transfer a deposit from an old reservation to a new reservation. So we have $10 deposits auto added. So this person doesn't owe any money, they're in-house. They have a $10 deposit on their um, old reservation. So I'm going to adjust the deposit. Okay, so it says now we owe them $10. It says the deposit on file is no longer there basically. Um, so I do, a fake transaction. So I'm not actually accepting cash right now, but I'm going to add a cash transaction, a refund, in fact, of $10. Okay. I just make a note that I'm transferring a deposit, which I will add refund. Okay, so this is the old reservation. So I'm gonna mark this person as checked out and we're gonna check them into the new reservation. So first thing I'm gonna do an opposite transaction to what I just did. So I'm gonna add a payment instead of refund of only $10, of course. By cash, of course, because that's how I did the refund. And select, we have a cash drawer feature. And I'm just transferring deposit to this new one. So as you'll notice, um, there's no deposit, of course, on the old one. It doesn't say we owe any money anymore. There's just a negative 10 transaction here. And there's a positive 10 transaction here. So we didn't actually receive any cash. Those two transactions zeroed out in total. So I'm not expecting any additional money in my cash drawer. And we have what we want on this. Like there's a deposit on file. The person already paid $10, so they no longer owe their grand total. They only uh, owe $10 less than their grand total. So I have essentially transferred the deposit to the new reservation, and now they just owe the remainder for the base price and all that stuff. Just so you understand the whys, I always, always, always do this in cash um, because when we do any transaction in credit card, even if they zero each other out, we always expect to see a credit card receipt for it. But we never ran this through our credit card terminal or anything, so we won't have receipts. So I don't want to confuse the person who does the banking who checks all the credit card receipts. Um, if I have cash transactions, however, uh, those, they don't really pop up on your radar um, if they zero out because you didn't gain or lose money. It, it didn't affect anything. And I, I don't do the fake transaction type that we made called practice um, transactions because I always delete those at the end of the month. And I don't want to mess with grand totals by deleting um, types of payments being made.